actually this place is a place whereby we exhibit a product from student work. Uh, they studied in two type, two categories of uh, 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 certificate. One is certificate, and then another one is for diplomas uh, of a certificate. Whereby the uh, this product for certificate, they uh, we teach them for two years, and then for the diploma we teach them for three years. That means for certificate four semester and diploma for six semesters. <laughs> So within uh, what we have found here is a product from final year uh, product uh, that uh, emphasize on six major uh, six major uh, categories of craft. First, mainly uh, batik, uh, and then uh, wood product. Ceramic product, uh, rotten product, and then the last one is uh, what we call is uh, logam. What we call is logam. Metal, metal. A metal product. That we have six major uh, categories of product that we teach here in Institute Craft Negara. Our first uh, intention of teaching this student. In, in such uh, craft work is uh, we mainly focus on heritage and uh, and uh, what we call is ident identity is uh, 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 Malaysian uh, identity. Malaysian, Malaysian, Malaysian. We have to this uh, these categories of uh, 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 producing product. So to produce this product, we got to teach them. A basics art and design, so balancing and everything, and then we concentrate on a material that we have in in, in Malaysia actually. Uh, so, like batik, we are not uh, producing kain, but we we bought it, we we import it from China, for instance, from India uh, and other places. For the others, like uh, rotan, we actually get it in in uh, in house, Malaysia. For wood also, for metal, sun we uh, we import it outside from India or something like that. But uh, and then for ceramic, we uh, actually eighty percent of the uh, ceramic material we uh, get locally. Yeah, for instance, at the northern area like Kuala Kansar. And then uh, 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 the others, the imported uh, clay, we buy it in the area of Klang Valley, especially in, in Kuala, Kuala Lumpur and, uh, and this Klang Valley area. Oh, the, the other things, uh, we have a, a weaving department also. Uh, we mainly focus on Songkit and other uh, weaving. Uh, uh, heritage like uh, uh, Pua Sarawak there, Kalimantan uh, Borneo area, and then uh, at the Sabah also. Uh, this is the most important thing. We got to preserve our heritage and identity. Okay, saya uh, seorang pelajar tunjungan. Saya sedang membuat jacket. Jacket uh, bermotifkan ikat pakai. She said that she's a weaving student, so now she's on in the process of making a jacket, jacket uh, with the motif of ikat, pakan. ikat pakan. First kali um, gunakan benang sutera, mm -hmm. so benang sutera untuk jadikan ikat. Pastu mm -hmm. ikat ni dia dipanggil ikat lima lah. Okay. Kalau macam ikat lima ni sebenarnya dia buat dekat samping, sarung, mm -hmm. uh, dia memotifkan yang motif yang kita kaji. Mm -hmm. Contoh kalau saya kaji motif ni, motif sampai, mm -hmm. itu 
Daripada sampan tu saya olah dia jadi bunga Masih jadi perahu Masih hmm. okay. So uh, this ikan is actually from a uh, white thread White thread So they they do it based on what motif that they study So she study the motif about the boat uh, or, or sampan So she improvise it into the flower or apa lagi bumbu ni uh, uh, flower or perahu lah uh, a boat a boat yeah. yes okay, dalam diploma yang saya dapat capai sekarang ni saya boleh membuat macam-macam produk daripada uh, hasil kajian saya sendiri contohnya saya ada buat produk bagasi uh, backpack uh, apa uh, topi sabun tangan. Okey, tu yang daripada saya capai lah sekarang daripada saya tahun lebih saya mula-mula daripada CJ. CJ ke DIPIN, DIPIN ke diploma. So saya masuk diploma ni daripada setahun setengah. Ha, daripada situ saya dapat mempelajari semua yang cikgu beri. So maksudnya dari pagi yang hari ni so buat jadi bag macam tu. Ha ha, saya tenung dulu tadi. Ha, jadi bag. Jadi bag. She made it to become a luggage bag and also the backpack and also the hat and also the uh, she will do her own research uh, to do other product to be uh, to produce more product from the weaving uh, cloth oh kalau macam ni saya buat contemporary contemporary uh, motif uh, yang traditional ubah jadi content so maksudnya uh, dalam diploma dia akan buat awak untuk Okay, okay. Uh, macam mana nak cari-cari nak buat olah motif Lepas tu nak perkembangan ID kita uh, Daripada situ lah uh, Daripada sebuah yang uh, macam benda yang kita kaji Untuk kita membuat olahan jadi motif kontemporari uh, Macam mana awak rasa yang awak punya sekarang ni buat kontemporari motif ni uh, Boleh jadi Ada jadi kebangsaan kita Oh, saya rasa macam mencabak lah Buat benda ni mula first kali rasa macam ada ketekan sikit Lepas tu bagi saya mencabak lah Kalau kita buat benda macam ikut motif kemasaan uh, Okay so now she will improvise from the traditional motif Into a contemporary, temporary design, a contemporary design So actually this institute will uh, They will do their own research To actually enhance the uh, traditional motif to any other contemporary motif uh, so actually they find it very stressful at first uh, but then uh, based on their research for one year or more so they find it um, quite interesting quite interesting and also uh, the the weaving Clothes is already a national identity uh, itself. Uh, you bring the national in, in identity in it. Okay. The most important thing, uh, this art and craft, mainly we, we call it craft and art. Because we we want to uh, to 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 forward craft is much more rather than than art. So uh, as we do understand that foreigner come to our place is looking for a special thing to the place that they going to tour or something like that. So uh, one thing if uh, the best thing the different session of that place to other place is only true uh, heritage uh, craft and art uh, that's why we can uh, differentiate uh, malaysian product and philippine product and indonesian product and thailand product uh, what we at almost the same is what we call is batik uh, from uh, indonesia and malaysia but we have a diff slightly different uh, uh, doing of the batik by uh, hand batik like hand drawn, uh, a bit modern Malaysian batik uh, rather than uh, 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 
like we uh, we we implemented before. Uh, hi, uh, Assalamualaikum. Uh, nama saya Sabita, Sabita Najia binti Romi. So boleh call saya Sabita. Okay, saya um, final sem, uh, sem akhir uh, dah tiga tahun diploma. Saya ambil ni lah craft batik. Okay, um, saya buat final uh, projek yang saya buat ni ialah interior. So saya buat bilik tidur. Uh, okay, um, saya gunakan motif saya Sarawak. Sebenarnya uh, Sarawak kaca. Um, apa saya uh, buat yang berkaitan dengan warisan. So um, sekarang ni saya tengah lakukan untuk bantal uh, for pillow. Okay, bantal ni saya cuma gunakan motif daripada burung. Burung enggang tu kan, burung Sarawak, saya gunakan kepak dia. Kepak dia saya olah kan dan jadikan motif untuk bantal lah. Lepas tu, saya gunakan warna-warna Ramazol. Warna Ramazol saya gunakan warna biru dan hitam, blue and black. Okay. Apa ni? Saya gunakan... Um, uh, teknik double boiling uh, Saya gunakan uh, warna biru soft Kemudian saya canting uh, dark blue And then saya rebus Rebus dan naik balik saya letak warna hitam uh, So jadilah double boiling Teknik double boiling selamanya Okay saya buat uh, apa uh, Katil ni uh, Untuk queen For queen uh, Untuk katil queen Tuju uh, pada uh, bangsa untuk dewasa lah untuk dewasa uh, saya gunakan um, uh, lebih kepada tradisional dan juga modern uh, konsep dia lah uh -huh. the final project is on uh, bedroom interior design for bedroom so he's, he's, uh, he's uh, now she's doing uh, for pillow pillow cases so she's uh, she's actually adopting a um, traditional theme uh, from Sarawak culture Sarawak so, culture yeah. yes so this is the hornbill wing uh, hornbill wings uh, because of the hornbill is the um, what uh, the bird mascot for Sarawak uh, the, the bird of the Sarawak okay so uh, she's doing for queen size uh, bedroom setup. Uh, so this is only the pillow. So the, the, the technique of this batik is double boiling technique. This is uh, what they use? Chanting. Is this chanting? Yes. Uh, when you say chanting. Uh, this chanting. So what is, what, what is this? Chanting. Oh, okay. Alright. As you can see. Okay. Okay. Look. Alright. Kemudian kita ambil. Ini. So, kita canting. Canting semua. Ah, canting. Is that the... Uh, wax. 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 Uh, wax. The wax. The wax. Candle wax. Uh, oh. Is this uh, made of candle wax? Candle? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. And, yes. and then, uh, this is the natural color. You natural did not color. put color? I yes. know. Uh, just no color, color, just just the natural. natural. Color. And then you put the black and the blue color. The yes. Color. yes. Uh, like uh, like here, did you put the uh, wax? No. Ah, yeah, hitam tu. Direct uh, letak uh, wax. But this is direct painting. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, ini saya canting. Uh huh. Itu. Ah, kemudian warna ini saya warna dalam ini saya letak keluar. Oh, okay. So she uh, did she, she put chanting? Yes, she put chanting. As a border, ah, as a border. Yeah. Okay. Ah, so then and then you painted, yes, you uh, painted it with the dye, uh, this dye. So this dye is not boiled. No. Just just dye and then color. It does not fade. It's okay. It's not fade. Uh, kita kena sedikit ni. Sedikit ada bahan dia. Boil. Sing. Sedikit. Sedikit tu rendam macam. Fix. Ah, sedikit kita uh, rendam, kita sapu, kemudian kita gantung. There's a chemical to fix it. Yes. Yeah, the fixer. Sehingga lapan jam lah. Kemudian kita basuh. Eight hours. Eight hours. Eight hours to just let it stay. And then they wash it. 
Yeah. Okay. Like like before, we do have uh, a product that we can we can uh, everybody love to to wear to use to to uh, uh, during during the early stage, like uh, 1960s, 1950s, 1960s, and then later on so the technologies has become uh, advanced. Uh, a lot of a uh, product. Uh, become cheaper and can be used by a lot of people. But the the, the identity and the, the 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 identity and the heritage become less and lesser. So, as an institution of craft, we would like to bring it up to 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 marriage the the what the technologies and the heritage to become. A lifestyle to everybody, uh, like a house. Like I think, like like we all uh, 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 wearing or something like batik, uh, and then uh, like uh, 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 furniture uh, for wood products and the rotten product. We would like to bring it back to become uh, uh, very popular like before. That is why we want to uh, to bring it up. Rather than uh, using uh, 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 outside a product that a beautiful for the sake of beautiful, but have no uh, history, have no meanings, have no uh, content inside it. Uh, so uh, I think uh, we we are uh, really trying to to teach a new generation. Uh, to to put inside the content of it, not just doing the product, but uh, uh, doesn't not not only for economic, for for use uh, in the house or, or urban city, but we are introducing the quality of of the product by itself uh, to remember the past. Uh, to remember the quality, to remember the the goodness of the product, like like before. This is a wood carving department. So we do teach them uh, several techniques of uh, carving. For instance, uh, we do teach them a traditional a traditional motif carving like this. Yeah, and then. And then we do have a contemporary carving. And then we do have a, also teach them a 3D carving, like this one. This look like a, a 3D compared to the, the one, this one is 2D carving. So, and then this one uh, is a contemporary carving and then with this uh, double and then it's going to become uh, a product or something like uh, a useful product they put something inside uh, during the carving lesson we also introduce different kind of wood especially like this one is a nyato wood and then this one is a uh, what we call is cheng uh, no it's maranti wood maranti. something like that so uh, we do introduce different different kind of wood, whereby this wood is sometimes is harder to to cut, sometimes it's easier to cut. So uh, the student is uh, 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 we have three layers of student. First is a uh, first year student, second year student, and third year student. Whereby third year student is a final year for them. Uh, they are going to produce uh, two major uh, projects. is a major project and a minor project.
makan roti di gerai maca sambil bersembang jamu selera 50 tahun merdeka. Jemputlah, Mem.